Hello stock stalkers, welcome back. Market is still open, it's up by 13.50 points or we can say 0.40%. Today Imar opened with a small gap up indicating aggressiveness from buyer side. As of now it's trading at 6.21, day's high is at 6.24. If you have seen my previous analysis on Imar properties, I had mentioned this stock is now ready to go higher. We can see it took support at 6.00. Previously, this was resistance or we can also say this was the neckline of this double bottom pattern. Now it's ready to go higher. As I had mentioned, we can expect slowly and steadily to hit 6.50. If you have entered at lower levels, this should be your target. Let's also check out the market index. How is it performing as of now? And this is the daily chart of Dubai Financial Market Index. We are seeing as of now, it's forming a green candle. This is today's candle. Minor resistance around 3370 and then we are facing this hurdle that is 3385 area. This is a resistance but overall market is recovering yet not bullish. We can see it's stuck within this range for so many weeks. Once market crosses 3400 this is a tough nut to crack only then we should consider market is bullish. So this swing high should be taken out to consider market index to be in an uptrend. Back to the market. We can see DFM is also performing very well today. This is also working out as per the trading plan. Today it opened with a gap up 1.53. As of now it's trading at 1.57. Day's high is at 1.59. Let me go to the charts of DFM and see if it is performing as per our trading plan. Right here we can see this is DFM. If you have seen my previous analysis I had mentioned this is resistance area that is 1.45. Once we see a closing above 1.45, we will consider this as bullish. Again, we are seeing similar kind of chart pattern. We saw this is the first bottom. Market hit the resistance, got rejected. Again, it came back to the same level. Let me highlight here. This is the same level that I have been talking about. So we have first bounce right here, second bounce from the support, and then market broke the neckline. This is very bullish. This is W chart pattern or double bottom. As of now, it's trading at 1.57. Those of you who have entered at lower levels, very good, nice entry, keep holding your position, more upside is expected. But at the same time, it can come down for a small correction to make a new high. Back to the market. Then we have Dubai Islamic Bank is a bit slow today. Diva is flat. We don't see big moves usually in Diva. DIC is also performing very well today. We are seeing it's up by 3.11%, which is very good. DR is somehow managing to keep up about 0.5. Salic is slow. Although it opened flat, I had mentioned about Salic in my previous analysis that I uploaded yesterday. It's looking overall bullish, no doubt. We are seeing right here, we are seeing breakout of this resistance zone or this trend line. And today we are seeing a retest. Almost as per the analysis I had mentioned, we are seeing a bounce from this support zone. Market broke the resistance. Any dip is a buying opportunity. So if you have entered here at the lower level, very good entry. We can also call it a sniper entry. And now slowly and steadily you can target 2.40. Overall Salik is looking very good. Today's positive closing is very important and also it should not close below this trend line. Then let's check out another stock. Air Arabia is also slow. Nothing interesting. GFH today is up by 2.68 thanks to the positive news. But still with low volumes. This stock was above 1.20 as of now it's trading under 1 dirham. So definitely this stock is under pressure. Let's check out ADX. ADX is very interesting. We can see Perti Globe is doing big volumes today. First thing, let's see the market index. It's above 10,500. So definitely it's trading at all time high. If you have seen my yesterday's analysis, I had mentioned ADX index is very strong and very bullish. Let me show you the chart right here. This is the daily chart. I have been mentioning 10,500 is coming very soon. Right from this level, market took a pause before making a big move to the upside, a small halt or small pause here, and then again, a big move to the upside. We are seeing similar kind of consolidation here for at least three to four days, and again, a big move to the upside. As of now, market is trading at 10,534. This is very bullish. More upside momentum is expected. As I mentioned, ADX index is very powerful. Let's check out some stocks as well. First thing, IHC that is a very heavy weighted stock in ADX index. 
right here it's flat as of now but still holding current levels that is very important right here we can see 4.03 is resistance it's trying to cross for so many days but it's getting rejected again similar kind of pattern i had mentioned 390 is resistance once we see a close above this will be bullish and this is a good time to enter this will be a breakout trade and our target is already hit that was 400 Aldar properties as of now nothing interesting it's in a downtrend i had mentioned previously once we see a close above 4.40 this can be taken as bullish but it tried for so many days got rejected as of now we are seeing small bounces but nothing interesting immediate resistance is at 4.34 multiply is now forming a support area this is good right here I had mentioned in my yesterday's analysis after hitting 4.80 we are seeing small correction or selling pressure this is resistance area today it opened with a gap up indicating buying pressure today's closing is again very important if it maintains the support zone right here and then makes a breakout this will be a good indication that it's ready to make a new high then let's check out m steel is also going good up by 2.31% Taka is again ready for a new rally. If I show you the chart right here, Taka after a small correction and a big rally right here, a small correction now again it's gearing up. This candle is looking very bullish today. If it closes above 3.85, definitely we can expect more upside momentum in coming days. It will make a new high very soon. Back to the market. And then I have Ishraq today, it's up by 11.34%, performing very well. I had shortlisted this one, but since it's in a downtrend, I was not very interested. I did not share it with you guys. We can see a strong rally to the downside after it hit 0.66, and now we are seeing a spike today. Well, this is not confirmed yet, it's still not in an uptrend. We are just seeing a spike. So let's wait for a positive price action and then we take the trade. This stock is very volatile. So just by one spike, this cannot be trusted. Then let's check out some other stock. Burjil today opened with a gap up, still looking positive. It touched 2.50. This is a resistance. As you can see, this white line indicates resistance. Market previously tried to cross. It got rejected. Again, for the second time, we are seeing rejection. And from here, we are seeing bullish candlestick pattern. I was expecting it could go past 2.50 and then start a new rally to the upside. Today's closing is very important. If it closes somewhere around 2.48 or 49, this would be very positive, and then we can expect upside momentum in coming days. Then we have Alpha Dhabi. We see only spikes, it's not yet trending. If I have to show you the chart right here, we can see a spike in Alpha Dhabi. This was good. Somewhere around 10 million shares were exchanged, but then it's not able to hold. So this is looking risky to me. Let it establish a support zone and then we will see a breakout. This will be a good indication to enter. For now, this is in a no trading zone for me. Let's check out some other stocks. And then we can also take Adnock drilling. It's performing good so far, but it's under pressure. We can see this stock is following this trend line right here. So once we see a breakout and a close above, this trend line we will consider this bullish so far it's in a no trading zone let it slowly and steadily move up break this trend line we will see a retest right here and then this will be considered bullish for now this stock is also in a no trading zone i hope guys you are updated about today's market we still got around 30 minutes to go do not forget to smash the like button for me subscribe for regular updates thanks for watching keep stocking